Who wants a healthy excuse to indulge in your next cocktail? Well, we're offering it right now. It's a piece from their new book, The Thinking Girl's Guide to Drinking Cocktails Without Regrets. Our celebrity chef, Ariane Resnick, and mixologist, Brittany Ray. Welcome, ladies. Thank Thanks you. for the Thank duo, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, why a book on cocktails, if I may ask? Sure. I wrote The Thinking Girl's Guide to Drinking to show people that alcohol can be part of a healthy lifestyle. My first book, the section yeah. on Did healthy you see cocktails. Those eyes light up. Here? <laughs> it can. I'm so serious. Uh, in my first book, the cocktail chapter, which was bone broth-based cocktails, was the most popular one, and I wanted to expand on that by helping people use fresh, healthy ingredients that mitigate the negative effects of alcohol. And it's a really important point. Whenever we talk about alcohol on the show with any positivity, it's in moderation. It's all about the mixers. Yes. And you're a mixologist, mm -hmm. so is that mm -hmm. how you two came together? Because it, it, it has to taste good. You have to have healthy ingredients as the mixers. <laughs> because it's easy as a mixologist to make drinks really unhealthy. It's really easy to add a lot of sugar to just make it taste, to make the alcohol taste good. Um, but with the ingredients that Ariane wanted to use, we were actually able to create well-balanced cocktails using healthy ingredients. What is this yes. one called? <laughs> this, is, this first one is the Light as a Lily cocktail. Light, okay. Light you as hear a about Lily. It? I do. Can I, can I I'm not it? drinking alone. Come on, ladies. Okay. Can I have a sipper while you explain <laughs> it? Cheers. 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 Here's the mixology. This is a floral cocktail. It's quite tasty. An assortment of flower flavors. You get jasmine from the jasmine green tea. Mm -hmm. So you also, from the green tea, get the antioxidant catechins that Absolutely. help prevent the oxidative stress of alcohol. It has elderflower liqueur, and that's a very non-specialty ingredient. You can get it at very any local, refreshing. any liquor store. Mm -hmm. And Travis, it's, it's good for you too, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so elderflower actually is used as an antiseptic, and it lowers blood sugar. Yeah. So even yeah. though the liquor itself has sweetener, the elderflower lowering blood sugar helps to cancel itself out a Which little bit. This elderflower? is incredibly refreshing. That's what you're drinking. It's, it's one of the inside. ingredients. Oh, inside. It's, it's, what, it's what, what, what are the, the floaters? <laughs> so the, those are edible flowers. Wow. We really wanted the drinks to be a multi-sensory experience. So you can eat these and not worry. Eat oh, yeah, flowers. these are edible flowers. They're edible. Instead They're edible. of eating the worm, you, buy you them, eat the flower. You buy them at the grocery yeah. store, and when you have something to chew, you're going to drink a little more slowly and a little more mindfully. I w and that's Look, a good idea. I will, I will make this drink. It's incredibly light, refreshing, a great, I would say a great yeah. summer drink. That's exactly, yes. Okay, so this looks more like cocoa or something along yeah. those lines. What yeah. do we got going here? This is called Tiger's Eye, and it is a chocolate and orange flavor profile. We get the orange from Cointreau wow. and orange bitters, which are digestive. Wow. And there's also more orange from little orange peel, uh, grated and then shaken into the drink, and then we express. It has a little kick in it, doesn't it? Has yeah. a little. I Wait. like it. Uh, uh, digestive. Yeah, for digestive properties yeah. and orange oil because you smell that. Because again, the multi-sensory experience. Uh, orange oil can help treat depression. So alcohol is a depressant. Having something that helps treat that is great, and also cocoa is anti-inflammatory. So alcohol being inflammatory, you don't have that. And then the hardness in here that you taste is the vodka. We Come use on, a potato cheers, vodka. Cheers. <laughs> and you know what I like about this, if I may? I, I am someone who enjoys bourbon, but the way you have mixed this together, I don't love vodka. I'm a bourbon girl. And yeah. this actually, in a strange way, with everything together, it has a little bit more of that bourbon bite to it. You've made the vodka, you've really rounded it out. And I'm being serious here because Vodka, you know, it's 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 a little bit of a cleaner alcohol, mm -hmm. and I, I actually like what you've done with this. So I, the first one was the only I would make this liquor as well. component was the. No, so the first one had uh, gin actually in it, which gin. is like the mm -hmm. botanicals kind of help with the, with the tea. Mm -hmm. The second one is vodka, but specifically it's a potato-based vodka, which adds that kind of texture and okay. viscosity that you're getting, which kind of maybe is where you're getting that like whiskey a, concept. Yes, from. it's, it's like great. Show now, yeah. for those of us out Similar there who yeah, exactly. want to make a mocktail, I understand this this is a great option. Mm -hmm. This does not have alcohol in it. Is no, that correct? No, it's a mocktail, which so means is... that it's alcohol-free. What's this one exactly. called? I love the color. <laughs> Thank you. That's from Beet Juice. It's called So Bloody Lovely. And it is beet juice <laughs> mixed with a homemade ginger beer. The beet juice is great for collagen production because alcohol is not known for helping us age gracefully. So this we're going to undo that. This may help your hangover when you've had exactly. too many of these. <laughs> 
Exactly. Yeah. I believe that even if you don't drink, you should have lots of fun, delicious, healthy options that are interesting. Mm -hmm. So we use a homemade ginger beer that we use in recipes throughout the book that has a version of fresh ginger juice, which is anti-inflammatory and anti-nausea that you don't need a juicer for. It's just squeeze, you just grate it and squeeze the juice out so you get a lighter, not you, quite You two spice. should open a bar if you don't have one. Because <laughs> I would come enjoy these cocktails anytime. These are absolutely wonderful and the book is called the thinking girl's guide to drinking cocktails without regrets it's available in stores november 1st and the best part is everyone in the audience yeah.